Namu Thassa Bhagavatu Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa. In this talk, we will talk in greater detail regarding the first ultimate truth, which is consciousness. And we will be focusing on the sense sphere consciousness or the 54 Kamavachara Chittani. The four ultimate truths which we spoke about in our first talk are Chitta, Chetasika, Rupa and Nibbana. Chitta refers to consciousness and there are 89 kinds. Chetasika are mental factors or mental concomitants and there are 52. Rupa refers to material form and there are 28 kinds. Nibbana is the unconditioned. And now we're talking about the first ultimate truth, which is consciousness. A little clarification. The word chittani. Now, in Pali, the sound chitta, when in singular form, is chittam. So one consciousness would be called chittam. And the plural form or multiple consciousness will be called chittani. So if you see the word chittam, it refers to one consciousness and chittani refers to multiple consciousness. Now the eight, 89 chitta or the 89 chittani are first classified according to Bhumi, the planes of existence. So there are 54 Kamavachara Chittani, 15 Rupavachara Chittani, 12 Arupavachara Chittani, and eight Lokutra Chittani. And if you may remember, uh, Kamavachara refers to the sense sphere consciousness. Rupavachara refers to the fine material sphere consciousness. And Arupavachara, refers to the immaterial sphere consciousness. And finally, Lokuttara refers to the supramundane consciousness. So these chitta, 54 plus 15 plus 12 plus eight, will give you the 89 chittani. First, we'll look at the 54 Kamavachara chitta and how they are subdivided. Now they are further subdivided into jati, their ethical nature, and hetu, the presence or absence of roots. The first category is based on jati, and that is the 12 akusala chittani, or the 12 unwholesome or immoral chitta. The second group are the ahetuka chittani, which are the rootless chittas, and there are 18. The last group are the 24 sobana chittani, which are the sense sphere beautiful chitta. We'll take the first group, the 12 akusala chittani, or the 12 unwholesome or immoral consciousness. Now, once again, these 12 are grouped into three subgroups, and that is based on the roots or hetu. There are eight lobamula chittani, eight consciousness rooted in greed. There are two dosamula chittani, two consciousness rooted in hatred and two mohamula chittani, two consciousness rooted in delusion. So what are hetu or mula? Hetu are roots. As we discussed in our first talk, they are mental factors. There are unwholesome roots as well as wholesome roots. 
द थ्री अकुशल हेतु अनहोलसम रूट्स अलोब दोस एंड मोह लोब रिफर्स टू ग्रीड और अटैचमेंट दोस इज हेट्रेड और अवर्शन मोह इज इग्नोरेंस और डिलूशन द थ्री कुशल हेतु होलसम रूट्स अलोब अदोस एंड अमोह अलोब रिफर्स टू जेनरोसिटी और नॉन अटैचमेंट अदोस रिफर्स टू गुड विल और लविंग काइंडनेस एंड अमोह इज विस्टम नाउ बेस्ड ऑन वेदर अ चित्त कंटेन्स रूट्स और नॉट इट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू ग्रुप्स If the consciousness is rootless, it is called ahetuka. And if it contains roots, if the consciousness is with roots, it is called sahetuka. So the prefix of a is added to hetuka if there are no roots. The prefix of sa is added to hetuka if there are roots. and the sahetuka consciousness the consciousness with roots are further subdivided depending on the number of roots it contain so if it has one root it will call it will be called eka hetuka eka refers to one if the consciousness has two roots it will be called dvi hetuka dvi refers to two if the consciousness has three roots it will be called thi hetuka thi hetuka so the prefix thi refers to three now let's look at the 12 akusala chittani we know that there are wholesome roots as well as unwholesome roots so in an unwholesome consciousness what we would expect to find are the unwholesome roots so the eight loba mola chittani the two dosa mola chittani and the two moha mola chittani will have unwholesome roots present in them now let's look at these roots individually lobe is greed or attachment now we spoke about consciousness always being associated with an object every consciousness arises in relation to an object a consciousness will never arise without an object in the absence of an object so when a consciousness has attachment or greed towards an object then we say that there is the root of loba in that chitta or it's a loba mola chittani when there is aversion towards the object then we call it a dosa mola chittani now it is not possible to have greed and hatred in the same consciousness because they are exact opposites therefore loba and dosa are mutually exclusive they both do not arise in the same chitta they can't coexist within the same chitta the example given here is that of two lions two lions are two kings and they will never share the same den likewise loba which is attachment to the object and dosa which is aversion from the object will never arise in the same chitta 
Moha, however, is quite different. Moha refers to ignorance or delusion. And it is because of this ignorance that we generate akusala, chetu, uh, chitta, or unwholesome chitta. It is because of ignorance that we engage in unwholesome acts. Therefore, moha arises concomitantly in all 12 akusala chitta. So if we look at all of this in a tabulated form, the eight lobamula chittani, the two dosamula chittani, and the two mohamula chittani, all would have moha as one of their roots. And in the eight loba mola chitta, we will have loba as well. The two dosa mola chitta will have dosa as well. But the moha mola chitta has only one root. It has only moha. Now, based on the previous division that I mentioned, if a chitta contains hetu, we will use the prefix sa and call it a sahetuka chitta. And once again, depending on the number of hetu that are present in that consciousness, we can subdivide them into dvi hetuka, which are the eight loba chitta and the two dosa chitta, because each of these chitta contain two hetu. And the two moha chitta will be called eka hetuka chitta because it has only one hetu. Now let us look at the eight loba mola chittani in greater detail. We'll first look at their individual names. The first. Somanasa Sahagatam Dittigata Sampayutta Asankarikam Ekam. One consciousness accompanied by joy, associated with wrong view, unprompted. The second Somanasa Sahagatam Dittigata Sampayuttam Sasankarikam Ekam. One consciousness accompanied by joy associated with wrong view prompted. The third Somanasa Sahagatam Dittigata Vipayuttam Asankarikam Ekam. One consciousness accompanied by joy dissociated from wrong view, unprompted. Somanasa sahagatam dittigata vipayuttam sasamkarikam ekam. One consciousness accompanied by joy dissociated from wrong view, prompted. The fifth, upekka sahagatam Dittigata sampayuttam asamkarikam ekam. One consciousness accompanied by equanimity associated with wrong view unprompted. The sixth. Upekha sahagatam dittigata sampayuttam sasankarikam ekam. One consciousness accompanied by equanimity associated with wrong view prompted. The seventh, upekka sahagatam dittigata vipayuttam asankarikam ekam. One consciousness accompanied by equanimity dissociated from wrong view unprompted. 
And finally, the eighth, Upekka Sahagatam, Dittigata Vipayuttam, Satsankarikam Ekam. One consciousness accompanied by equanimity, dissociated from wrong view, prompted. Now, these are the eight types of consciousness that are accompanied by greed. They are the Loba Mula Chittani. Now, it all looks very complicated, but it really is a very logical way of categorizing the Chitta. And let's look at how these Chitta have really been classified. The method used here to classify the eight Lobamula Chitta are three principles of dichotomization. The first principle of dichotomization is based on Vedana, feeling. The first four are called Somanasa Sahagatam, which means accompanied by joy. And the next four, Chittas 5 to 8, are Upekka Sahagata, which means that they are accompanied by equanimity. Equanimity means there's neither joy nor sorrow present within that Chitta. It's a neutral sort of feeling. The second principle of dichotomization is ditti. Ditti refers to wrong view. And depending on, the, on whether ditti is present or absent in the chitta, these chittas are further divided into two groups. Ditti gata sampayutta, which are those that have wrong view, and the Ditti Gata Vipayukta are those that do not have wrong view. And the final principle of dichotomization is whether the Chitta was prompted or not. So if we look at these eight Chittas once again, look at the first four. All four are Somanasa Sahagata. Now, this is the first principle of dichotomization, which is based on feeling or Vedana. So the first four are Somanasa, which means they are accompanied by joy. The next four are Upekka Sahagata, which means there's equanimity. And then the second principle of dichotomization. Dittigata Sampayutta. You can see that the consciousness one and two, along with five and six, are Dittigata Sampayutta, which means that they are associated with wrong view. Chittas three and four, and seven and eight are Dittigata Vipayutta they are dissociated from wrong view. And the final principle of dichotomization, the presence or absence of prompting. Chittas 1, 3, 5 and 7 are asankarikam. So when the prefix a is used, it refers to the absence of something. So these chittas are unprompted chitta. The chittas 2, 4, 6 and 8 have the word satsamkarikam, which means that these are prompted chitta. Now, it all may seems, seem very complicated. So let's look at the three principles of dichotomization individually. First, we'll look at Vedana or feeling. Vedana is a mental factor. 
It is a chetasika. And Vedana is present in every consciousness. It may be mental or physical. Feeling may be pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. So as I mentioned before, every consciousness is accompanied with some sort of feeling. The feelings that we talk about here are that of somanasa and upekka. Somanasa refers to joy. If you're feeling very happy, that means that consciousness is accompanied by somanasa or joy. Upekka refers to equanimity. And equanimity means that you're neither feeling happy nor sad. You're having a neutral sort of feeling. And that is Upekka. The word Sahagata means accompanies. Therefore, Somanasa Sahagata means accompanied by joy. Upekka sahagata means accompanied by equanimity. And that is our first principle of dichotomization. The second principle, wrong view, ditti. The Pali word ditti refers to view. View is twofold. View may be right, it may be wrong. Right view is called Samma Ditti. Samma Ditti. Wrong view is called Micha Ditti. Micha Ditti. However, if the word Ditti is used without a prefix of either Samma or Micha, once again, it refers to wrong view. Therefore, if you see the word micha ditti or ditti on its own without a prefix, you must understand that it is referring to wrong view. The word sampayutta means associated with. The word vipayutta means dissociated from. Therefore, Dittigata Sampayutta means associated with wrong view. Dittigata Vipayutta means dissociated from wrong view. And that is the second principle. The third principle of dichotomization is prompting, Sankhara. The prefix a is added to sankharika when there is absence of prompting. So asankharika refers to absence of prompting. The prefix sa is added to sankharika, which means presence of prompting. Therefore, sasankharika refers to presence of prompting. And this prompting may be something that is imposed by someone else, or it may originate from within one's own self. So to look at this once again, the first four are associated or accompanied by joy. That's Somanasa Sahagata. The last four are accompanied by equanimity, upekka sahagata. One and two and five and six are dittigata sampayutta, associated with wrong view. Three, four and seven and eight are dittigata vipayutta, dissociated from wrong view. One, three, five and seven are Asankarikam, 
they are unprompted. And two, four, six, and eight are sasamkarikam. They are prompted. Now, what does all of this really mean? Let us take an example from our day-to-day -day life to try and understand what each and every chitta really means. Let's take the example of a boy who is stealing. Now this boy is going to steal some money and he's very happy that he's going to get some money at the end of the day. But at the same time, he thinks like this. Well, it's all right to steal from the rich. They have excess money anyway. So a poor boy like me stealing from the rich is not a harmful act. And this boy steals on his own accord. So what is the consciousness that has arisen in this boy's mind? The boy is happy. Therefore, it is a somanasa sahagatam consciousness. He has a wrong view. He thinks that stealing from the rich is not a bad thing. So there is ditti. Therefore, it is a ditti gata sampayuttam consciousness. And he does so on his own accord. Therefore, he was not prompted. It was an unprompted consciousness. So it's a Asankarikam chittam. So this boy generated a somanasa sahagatam, dittigata sampayuttam, asamkarikam chitta, which is the first lobamola chitta, the first type of consciousness rooted in greed. Now, again, if this boy needed some sort of prompting either by someone else or he had to motivate himself then it will be called a sasam karikam chittam which is the second one somanasa sahagatam because he was happy ditti gata sampayuttam because he was having a wrong view and finally because there was prompting sasam karikam and those are the first two Lobamula Chittani. Now, let's look at the next two. The same boy goes to steal some money. He is happy that he's going to get some money at the end of the day. However, he does know that stealing is wrong, whether it's from the rich or anyone else. Stealing is wrong. He knows it. Therefore, his consciousness is not associated with wrong view. It is a dittigata vipayuttam consciousness. And let's say that he does it on his own accord. He didn't need any form of prompting. Then it would be a asam karitam chitta. So now what he has generated is a somanasa sahagatam, ditti gata vipayuttam, asamkarikam, chitta. However, if this boy needed some sort of prompting, some sort of influence, then that consciousness would be a sasamkarikam, a prompted consciousness, which is the fourth. Somanasa sahagatam, dittigata vipayuttam, sasamkarikam ekam. And those are our first four lobamula chittani. Now let us look at the next four, the last four. Now we'll take another boy. Now this boy is also going to steal some money. However, he's not happy about it, nor is he sad. He has 
a neutral sort of feeling in relation to this consciousness. Therefore, it is an upekka sahagata, a consciousness which is having the feeling of equanimity. And once again, this boy thinks that it is all right to steal from the rich. Therefore, he has wrong view associated with that consciousness. It is a dittigata sampayuttam chitta. And if he did not need any prompting, it will be asamkarikam. Therefore, he would generate upekka sahagatam, dittigata sampayuttam, asamkarikam ekam. However, if this same boy needed prompting, then it would be a sasamkarikam chitta. That is the sixth consciousness, the upekka sahagatam, dittigata sampayuttam, sasamkarikam ekam. Now let's take the last two chitta. Once again, this boy is not happy, noisy, sad, so he is equanimous. Therefore, he generates a upekka sahagatam chitta. And now he does not have wrong view. He doesn't think that is, it is all right to steal from the rich. He knows that stealing is wrong. Therefore, there is no ditti. It is a ditti gata vipayuttam consciousness. If he did not need any prompting, it will be called asam karikam. However, if he did need some form of prompting, it will be called sasam karikam. So now we have our seventh and eighth consciousness, which are upekka sahagatam, ditti gata vipayuttam, asam karikam. And the upekka sahagatam, ditti gata vipayuttam, sasam karikam. So those are our eight lobamola chittani and how to understand them in relation to a day-to-day -day life um, example. So in summary, we spoke about the 89 chittani, how they are divided according to the bhumi, the planes of existence. And there are four, the Kamavachara, sense fear consciousness, Rupavachara, material, fine material sphere consciousness, Arupavachara, immaterial sphere consciousness, and the Lokuttara, supramundane consciousness. We took the first group, the 54 Kamavachara Chittani, sense fear consciousness, and we said that they are divided into three subgroups or subdivisions. Depending on jati, their ethical nature, as well as hetu, roots. And we got 12 akusala chittani, 18 ahetuka chittani, or 18 rootless chitta, and 24 sobana chittani. We then talked about the 12 Akusala Chittani and how they are divided into three groups based on the roots. There are eight Loba Mula Chittani, two Dosa Mula Chittani, and two Moha Mula Chittani. And finally, we spoke in greater length about the eight Lobamola Chittani, taking into consideration an example. In our next talk, we will talk further on the remaining Akusala Chittani and the rest 
of the Kamavachara Chittani. May all beings be happy, be well, and free from suffering. <laughs>